First things first, I am extremely grateful and excited to be named It Gal of the Month. Jaya is a longtime friend um, and this really means so much to me. I've been watching her journey with growing It Gal and it's beautiful. I love the mes message that she's sending um, as far as women empowerment and girls supporting girls because I feel like nowadays, especially with social media, we're comparing each other, um, we're comparing our lifestyles, we're comparing our goals and our achievements and our blessings and it really shouldn't be like that um, any businesses that we all have we really have to push one another especially in our community because we, there's not a enough support already uh, as it is um, but I, most of all I love her service that she's doing for the community and for our younger girls and our teens um, just making sure that they have what they need and their tools for success um, and I just, I'm so excited to see exactly where it gal is going to head to and uh, all the strides that Jay is going to make with it. Greetings, I am Sasha Wright, a graduate of the Florida A&M University. I graduated with my Bachelor's of Science in Nursing in May, this past May of 2019, and I'm currently working at the Capital Regional Medical Center as a telemetry and neural nurse, so I deal with a lot of like cardiac and stroke patients. I see a little bit of everything, I see a little bit of everyone. Um, it definitely has been a rewarding journey. Um, it's those problems that I had temporarily as a college student, I don't have them anymore. I'm not broke. <laughs> I'm not stressed. I'm not depressed. I'm not, you know, low on faith. Um, I've grown in my four years of being in college. I've grown a lot. My ultimate dream job is to become a women's health nurse practitioner. Um, I've been wanting to do that for forever, as long as I can remember. Uh, I feel like we, in our community, we lack resources, we lack education, we lack uh, proper knowledge as far as sexual health and mental health, um, and just health overall and all of the uh, illnesses that our women fall to. Uh, I feel like that can really be improved with people that care, um, people that love our women, and that's why being it gal means a lot to me because uh, this is the 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 audience that I want to cater to, that I want to provide more resources to. Um, I feel like we get the short end of the stick sometimes, and that's just real. Um, challenging part of nursing school oh my goodness I'm triggered <laughs> uh, it, it has to it has to be probably money you know um, I come from a big family so money I felt like was an issue at times but I always had support from my mom support from my dad and my grandparents um, to get through it they believed in me so they did everything they could to make sure I had what I needed um, but stressing because you don't, I don't like asking for stuff. No one really likes asking for stuff if you really want to be real. Um, so that was the most stressful part. And then also just staying on top of everything, trying to be the number one nurse student sometimes and it's just not working out. <laughs> comparing myself to other students like what am I doing wrong what do I have to do more of um, I think the other thing that probably was a challenge was losing friends um, some people just couldn't understand that going through nursing school was a lot school in general it's a lot you can't hang out all the time you can't do things that you know you people do on weeknights so but I think I had a great balance of both um, the most rewarding part of nursing school was um, I think my experience in clinicals uh, I was constantly like reminded of my purpose because going through books and learning or reading stuff sometimes that's just a bit too much but when I'm hands-on and I'm face-to-face -face with my patients I'm like oh my god like uh, this is what I want to do I want to care for you I want to make sure you get to the ultimate part of wellness and health that you can be at and um, just having that experience just reassure me day to day that I'm gonna get through it and that eventually I'm gonna reach my end goal. So aside from nursing,
nursing. I've also been involved in modeling fashion brands that we all know and love. Um, about three years ago, Fashion Nova recognized me through social media of um, my style, and they wanted to collab. They wanted to collaborate with me, and that's how I got into fashion modeling. I'm not really a model. I don't really like modeling, but I love you know girly stuff. So, and I love dressing up. Who doesn't like dressing up? So. Got started with that, and then slowly uh, other brands started to roll in, like Shoe Dazzle, um, uh, Shein, just so many other places to name, and so many other small businesses of women um, that also reached out to me with their uh, great businesses um, and hair products and hair. Period. So, yeah. Uh, what just got me into it fashion over really got me into it i wasn't i was just trying to post pictures and be cute when i was going out that's about it um but i also started modeling for color pop and brands like that i think it's very fun to put on makeup and whatever and be cute but as far as modeling no unfortunately i do not see a future in it um i'm very awkward as i said before so uh, very introverted as well I just don't really I like doing tutorials I like showing people how to do and get create these looks um, I get asked all the time uh, by younger girls and by my friends so it's just really cool to me in the near future I do plan to have a social media page strictly about women's health um, women's mental health, spiritual health, um, and sexual health because this generation we so happy-go-lucky so <laughs> yeah I do just want to put out more resources and more knowledge to my crowd of women um, so please expect that in the near future I want to have like games, giveaways, puzzles, um, things to read about, fun facts that we probably don't know or wouldn't know or wouldn't be told uh, so do look forward to that please do um, my handle right now is at nurse right that's nurse and w-r-i-g-h-t please follow me um i also hope to come out with some videos um and some perspectives of other nurses as well candles that's like aromatherapy to me like if, it, if anything if I'm feeling stressed I'm gonna light a candle and I'm gonna get through it <laughs> I also am the eldest of 10 children blended uh, between my mother and father uh, so that's a lot of pressure it's a lot of pressure and it's a lot of responsibility um, but I love it I wouldn't change it for the world uh, I love all of my siblings um, I consider my step siblings my own. Like I don't even refer to them as that. I ain't best friends in second grade. I it's me. <laughs> it's me. Yes, I had the same best friends in second grade. I moved away, uh, went to Ohio for five years, Cincinnati, um, and then came back. And crazy enough, we reunited, and now we're line sisters. Ayo. That's just so ironic to me. Like who would have ever thought? Um, that we will reunite like that. So, yeah. So, being a model and getting those angles. Hold on, that ain't my angle. Let me get my angle for y'all. So, a little side face. You know, that's angle in itself. Let me stop. <laughs> um, but, how can I um, tell y'all how to get y'all angles? Uh, I honestly, you you just know what's it and what's not. Like, you know, okay, this side of my face don't look as good as this side of my, because everything ain't symmetrical. Um, this titty is smaller than this titty. Let me stop. <laughs> no, but just when you're trying to be confident in front of the camera, just picture you being in your own world. It's about you. Like, you're the it gal. You're, this is your world, you know. Um, can't nobody tell you nothing. You're your own individual. No one else looks like you or are you at all. So, is it are you or is you? No one, no one in this world, you're, <laughs> well, you're one in a billion, okay? They can't remake you. So just live in that, live in your skin because uh, there will never, ever, ever be another you.
a message I would want to leave to my e-gals is that um, whatever you're going through right now is temporary, okay? Whether it just lasts an hour, where it, whether it lasts a month or a year, um, whether you're grieving or whether you are trying to get through school or being broke, just know that it's temporary. Um, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. It won't matter tomorrow. It won't matter a year from now. It won't matter 10 years from now. So uh, keep your goals, Put post your goals, write your goals out on a mirror with some lipstick, wake up every day and just know you're going to get it done. So don't stress about it. It's, it's no point. God going to make it happen one way or another.